Hey, what's up everyone? Andrew from American Musical Supply here at Winter Nam 2019. Day two, I'm here in the boss booth with Jeff and he's going to talk to us about a very special new product. Yes, uh, we're t showing off today the Waza Tube Amp Expander. And it's literally a tool that every guitar player needs to own. It's one of those things that we've all kind of dreamed about but didn't really know what it was. And it starts off with a reactive load uh, uh, input. So you take your tube amp and you plug into this and you know, so there's different types of load boxes. Some are reactive, some are not. You want a reactive load because you need it to interact with your, your physical amplifier. Okay. People don't realize that when the speaker moves, it actually changes the sound of the tube amps connected. It's it's not just forward, it's not just through the speaker, the speaker is actually part of the circuit. And so, but a lot of the re reactive load boxes that are out there, they only have one reactive sound. What we have is a choice of them. So you have 16 different cabinet choices you can choose. So if you've got, you know, even if you wanted a 412 cabinet, we've got four different 412 cabinets in there. A Greenback, a Vintage 30, right, a Detail T75, all in here ready for you to go. And then what's great about it is that once I get there, I have a continuously controllable volume control on it. So not a stepped control, I can step it up and uh, that you guys step and down. I can sl you slowly find that sweet spot that gotcha. for, for whatever volume you want. That would be enough in itself if that was an awesome device, right? That and some kind of direct out and we'd all be thrilled. Amp sounding great, yeah. we'd be thrilled. Right. But it gets much, much better than that because once we move over into this section here, you see that we have a reverb knob. When I turn up and down that reverb, which let's see if I can do that for you live. Notice that that is coming through the monitors and also through the live physical amplifier. Wow. Right? Uh, typically, if you see something like that, it's going to be only through your recording output to, you know, to your DAW or something like that. This actually goes to the live cabinet. Uh, if you notice that I, here, that I have um, uh, an EQ switch on, um, an effects control. So I'm going to turn on uh, delay and uh, apparently compressor inside, side, 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 side here. So. So I've got a compressor on in the single chain, a delay on in the single chain, and reverb on the single chain. So, uh, and I just accidentally changed my preset, but that's okay, right? Um, so I can control, you know, add uh, an effects loop to, to an existing amp. So how many of us have that like, classic old amp that we love, you know, an AC30, a Plexi, or something like that? And, you know, you want reverb on it? You now have it. You, you want an effects loop? You now have it, right? Um, delay, a compression, all built into your, your actual rig. So this is a great performance tool device. It really accentuates what your amplifier can do, uh, makes them kind of modernize them and it can all be controlled with an optional foot switch or via MIDI. Um, and then of course, it's a great direct device for either going straight to the PA or straight for recording. It's got two XLR outs for stereo, which I think you are actually taking a tap off right yeah. now. And uh, of course, then uh, um, along with that, there's a mono version for, uh, for front of house, okay. which is great. A USB, so you can use it as an audio interface going straight into your DAW. And uh, just a whole plethora of features ready to go. But Very cool. And then uh, it looks like there's an editor app for it as well? Yes, it comes with it. There's an editor available for it, which will it will give you all the dialing in features that you need to do, right? Okay. So you can, you know, for example, like if we were looking at cab sims, you know, like uh, like look over here, you know, we can choose from 24 different cab sims. I can load my own IRs if I okay. want to. Yeah, you know, I can change the mic type, the mic distance, whether I have a room early reflections or an anechoic right. chamber kind of thing. All ready to go. I can save my presets. I can save different live sets for different rigs. You know, maybe with one amp, I want to have eight. You know, my 10 10 presets set up, or yeah. with a different rig, I want to have it all set up there. And one of the other features I love on this is that it has an amp control switch. So like right now you hear, hear gain and I just told that uh, wonderful Freeman amp over there to switch over to its clean okay. channel. So even that can be saved in it. So when I hit hit one switch on the foot, foot switch, my amp that didn't have an effects loop, gotcha. you know, has an effects loop. Yeah. I just turned on reverb on, on my my delay sound or my distorted sound. But when I switched to my clean sound, I added a compressor and a reverb. Yes. Yeah, so. Awesome. Wow. It's a bit of everything. Yeah, right? Sounds like a very useful tool. So yeah, that's the... And, 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 you know, like here we are, you know, and if you look at this amplifier, where's that master volume at right now? Uh, it's Whoa. like, it's up full. It's, it's at 10. Yeah. And that's really where amps are meant to be played. And when right. it comes down to it, the, the first tube to clip is the last tube. Right? When we turn down our master volume, we stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. So we don't get that classic amp tone that we hear on records and right. our pros and everybody the way you're doing. And we want that. That's where the feel and the dynamics and all the coolness comes from. Mm -hmm. Dimer amp, right? And you know, for people who are using in-ear monitors on stage nowadays, take a head and that, and you're good to right. go. And you can get that cool squish, squish sound.
lots of fun. Right. Very cool. Well, thanks so much. Let's see. Was a tube expander? Was a tube amp expander. Was a tube amp expander. Okay. Thank you very much, Jeff. And if you're interested in checking out the Waza Tube Amp Expander, you can head over to AmericanMusical.com.